Okay, am I back? I think I'm back. Okay, so um, so again, face is prime, brows are on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line my brows, outline them. So I'm gonna pick up my little lining. This is like a thin, um, I don't know if you can see, very thin brush here. This doesn't even have a number on it, this is like just a cheap brush. So. Um, I'm going to use my Mineral Touch Concealer, this is my unique concealer, this is in the color Velour. Um, I like to use this, I'm going to use this around to line my brows and on my lid. And I'm going to use a lighter shade underneath here, 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 on my Cupid's bow. Slide them out right there is where I'm going to put, I'll show you here. So, um, I'm going to take this concealer and I'm going to actually put it on my hand, okay? So I'm going to squeeze some of it out onto my hand. So roughly about that much, okay? So now I'm going to take that brush, that flat brush, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up some product. And I'm going to try to do this where you can see. And I'm going to start underneath my brow. Get my hair out of the way. line up underneath my brow in front of my brow over top of the brow and this is how to make your brows look crisp guys like crisp and popping this is a trick that I learned from watching um, a lot, a lot of freelance makeup artists. So I'm gonna. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get close enough. I have horrible eyes, even with contacts on, when I'm trying to do this fine tuning kind of stuff. Okay. So, actually I'll do one eye and then so you can see the difference. So, um, and then I'm going to take the rest of the product and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow primer. Since I'm already taking this product around my brows and a lot of times um, I need to conceal my eyes anyways. Um, I really don't need an eyeshadow primer because this is going to do the exact same thing as an eyeshadow primer as well as it's going to brighten my eyelids which I'm going to want anyways um, and especially like underneath my eyes so I'm going to bake all of this area so I'm going to show you about baking different kind of baking not the chocolate chip baking which is probably the best okay so now I'm going to go ahead and take a beauty blender so I'm going to dampen myself a beauty blender right here. And yes, I apologize. It's slightly dirty from yesterday. I will clean it. Okay, I'm sorry. So we all can't be perfect all the time. So I'm going to buff this into my skin and you can, if you get a little bit on your brows, you can always touch up the brows later, but this is going to help set all of your brow powder to keep everything from moving and shifting so I'm going to bounce this beauty blender this will also help pick up the highlighter or anything if I want to highlight my eyes I'm not going to do anything too dramatic on the eyes today and I think I think my video yeah I'm starting a new video than I was before oh well We'll just post several of them since it's not all going to be together. And I'm planning on getting a laptop here soon, guys, so I can edit videos and all that. I am doing the best I can with no tools. <laughs> Except makeup tools, so. Alright, so I've bounced that in, okay? 
Now I'm going to go ahead and just put my setting powder that I use on my eye on this side so you can see the difference between this side and this side, okay? Sorry, I've got my makeup kit right there sitting on the toilet. <laughs> okay, so let me grab... I'm just gonna grab a flat, kind of harder, harder brush, more stiff. And this is a Daily Life um, Dear Diary series palette. So I really like this shade, and all I'm gonna use it for is to set the concealer on top of my um, lid. And this is gonna help your um, eyeshadow look go on smoother with no creasing because you're setting now I'm not going to put a whole bunch of it you know like layer it up because I'm going to be putting other stuff on but I am going to use this I'm going to go all the way up to the brow and I'm just kind of tapping it in Your skin is literally a canvas, guys. You can do so much stuff. And I know this video is long and I take forever, so if you're bored, I'm sorry. I'm having fun. Okay, so I've got the shadow, the setting on that. So, I know this light's kind of weird. So there's that eye. Eye with nothing, okay? So that's much lighter and it's smoother so I'm going to be able to do my look. So I do my eyes first. Kind of a trick that I learned. Instead of doing your foundation and everything first and worrying about fallout and having to clean and correct things, it's easier to start here, work your way kind of out on the face and contour and there's less um, messiness involved in it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back in and do this eye here. So again, I'm going to line the brows. And in front of them, you don't have to be 100%. Uh, there you go. Get up there, bangs. Um, perfect. You can start wide or higher and then bring it down closer. Actually, gonna need a little bit more to do. I'm almost out of this. I'm gonna have to definitely get some more because this color works perfect um, for doing this part of my look. So, take some more line my whole lid. Now, I'm not going to do lashes or anything like that because I may wind up getting in the pool today. Um, so, I'm not going to worry about doing any of that today. If you guys really want to see like a full glam look, let me know. Um, if there are any other looks that you want to see, let me know. So, I can't do anything unless you, know, you guys let me know exactly what you want to see. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of do what works for me. But I like challenging myself because um, I'm working on my portfolio to do some freelance makeup artistry. I have been learning a lot and doing a lot of studying on certain things. Um, so, and it's just kind of evolved into a passion that I have. Um, I've gotten some requests from people for me to do their makeup, so I've started doing um, other people's makeup and I love it it is definitely going to be um, my career change so 
and being able to show people how wonderful these unique products work and to use them on my clients is going to be awesome. Okay, so, and I know that looks light and all that under there, don't worry, we're going to, we're going to keep going. <laughs> so, now I'm going to go ahead and set that eye. Just pressing this powder in there. So I'm going to kind of do like a, an average kind of daily look to the eye. And hopefully I can get this video, these videos uploaded today for you. If not, I might have to do it while I'm up at getting my MRI done. Because, you know, I don't get great service here at the house, and these are going to be long videos that I'm trying to upload, so. And if for some reason the first part of this video is not available, I'm sorry. I might have to redo something, so. Okay. So, both eyes are set now. Let me wipe off my... I've got some great makeup cleaner that I got from my brushes. And we'll do that just not right now. Okay, so everything is set, so now I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit um, of an eye, just light little bit. So, so I'm going to grab my quad palette here from Unique. So these are the colors that I'm going to work with here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my crease. So I'm going to grab a crease brush. So I'm going to grab my big fluffy crease brush that I love. So big and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade. This is Agile. It's going to take a small amount on the brush, tap it off, so important, you don't tap it, you're going to get too much product build up, and I'm going to start in this outer corner, and I'm going to first do some circular motions, and then I'm going to go into a windshield wiper motion, and kind of bring that color across into that crease and I'm not worried about being exact um, or anything really with it because you gotta remember we haven't put foundation or anything on under the eye so even if I get messy out here or I get fallout I'm not gonna have to worry about wiping it off and wiping everything that I put on my face off so I'm gonna pick up a little bit more on the brush I'm just dabbing it Going in a circular motion. And then I'm going to rock it or windshield wiper it across into the crease. And I am going up like actually onto my bone here. Okay, so I'm going up a little higher. I do have hooded eyes. So, um, with my eye shape, I cannot put a lot of heavy product just like low on my eye because when my eyes are open, I have very little lid showing. So, I have to make my eyes bigger and brighter with how I apply my makeup. Otherwise, my eyes will look like little tiny slits. So, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side circular motion here just to put majority of the heavy product so when you start putting your eyeshadow on you should start in this outer corner because you're going to have the most product on your brush here and usually this outside corner is what you're going to want the darkest so I'm going to sweep this back and forth Pick up 
some more product. I apologize if the fan noise is loud. I had to have a fan on. That's why usually I am uh, in by the air conditioner. Plus it helps too when I'm putting like setting sprays and stuff and I just stick my face right next to the air conditioner. Okay, so I've got my transition shade on. So now I am going to take that same, actually I'm going to grab another brush here. So I'm going to grab my shade brush and I'm going to pick up some of uh, this dark shade here on the end. This is Fervent. So I'm going to pick up a small amount of that fuzzy on there, tap it off, and I'm going to press this into this outside corner half. I'm not going to really smear it around, I'm just going to tap it and press it into this corner. So then I'm going to take back, take my fluffy crease brush with that first transitional shade on it and I'm going to start blending lightly, light pressure. I'm not really digging it. Very like feather light. I'm going to do some circular motions right here and then I'm going to kind of bring it up kind of into that crease lightly. Because what I'm trying to do is soften that out a little bit. And I know my face does weird things when I'm doing this, sorry. Okay, see? See how that just kind of fanned it all out and made it look a thousand times smoother? So now I'm going to go back in with my little shade brush, pick up a little bit of product on the brush tap it off, come over here, press it in, Now I'm going to go back in with that first brush, that crease brush. No, pro no additional product is on this brush. Okay, this is now simply a blending brush. So I'm going to do the same thing. Circular motions, light feather, and then come up with it a little bit. Just going to try to blend and smooth this out. I think that's looking really good. It's amazing how some days you apply the right amount of product and then other days you're like, whoops. But, you know, that's the good thing about makeup is you can always go back and fix. So, now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to grab a little bit smaller of a brush. Just 
kind of grab this slightly angled fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up Slick, which is going to be this kind of like a light shimmery shade. Pick up some of that on the brush, tap it off, and go in here. Um, I'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that today, just keeping it simple. If you want to see a cut crease, um, I can do a video on that for you. So again, just patting that into my lid. blend that here in a second. Get some on this eye. back in with that same fluffy brush, crease brush, no additional product, and I am just going to blend this crease, lightly blend that line between my lighter shade and the darker shade, just lightly, okay, come on to this side, same thing, blending in the crease. Lightly blending here. Look at that, guys. Just so seamless, like it just blends. Just one color runs into the next. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I am gonna go ahead and use that same fluffy brush, angled fluffy brush that I just picked up slick with, and I'm actually going to come in here with this really light shade, this optimistic. So I'm going to take some of this on this brush, tap it out, and I'm going to press it up underneath my brows. I'm using this as an under eye highlighter because these um, this whole quad palette just goes so well together. I mean, it's just like the perfect combinations of colors. And I feel like most anyone can wear this palette. Um, these like mauve shades are usually pretty good on light or dark skin tones. So, sorry, I keep looking in the camera, guys. So, all right, tap that up underneath this brow, just kind of lightly pressing it in, and that is why the concealer went all the way from the top down to the bottom, because shadow is going to go, and I'm just going to go back all the way from the top to the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend that just a little bit, lightly. You don't want to press hard while you're blending. You see how that highlighted that? Because if you press too hard, you're going to be swiping it all over and it will get clumpy. The lighter and more like feathery you apply it, the smoother and better it's going to look. So, okay. Um, I will come back in with that. I'm going to leave that palette out because I'm going to come back in and do a little bit under eye. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my um, eyeliner real quick. So, and for the eyeliner that I really like, um, I've got this NYX, um, this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, it's a felt tip liner. Um, I'm kind of in love with these felt tip liners, so I don't know, they work good for me. Most, a lot of people like gel liners with an angled brush because you have a little bit more precision control. 
Um, most people do not use pencil eyeliners anymore. You can, but you get a better look with either a liquid or gel. Liquid can be a little runny and harder for people to apply. You get more smudge. So that's why I feel like for like this liquid liner, this felt tip is the easiest application. And I think then the next easiest application would be like a gel liner with an angled brush. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I might have to get close to the mirror for this. Sorry guys, cause you know, I can't see. Cause I'm blind as a bat. And when I have a better setup, I promise you will get to see what I'm doing, okay? So. Now, see, everyone is not perfect. Look, see that little spot? I messed up because I blinked. So, but we will fix it, so it's okay. I'm gonna let this dry before I try to fix that spot. So, but I just did a very small kind of wing there. So, but I'm gonna let that dry before I try to touch up. See that little spot? Yep. Happens to everybody. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do this eye. You might be able to see this better. It's hard to do this in talk, guys. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry a second. So there, as you can see, my wings. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to fix that spot. So what I'm gonna do is take a small brush. in as I drop it. Um, I'm going to come back in with a very small fluffy brush. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of that um, slick. Tap it off. And I'm just going to touch up. And I don't care if I get some of this product on the actual like eyeliner part. It's because I can go back over that. So... All I want to do is fix where I messed up. See? All right, that fixed it. So then now I'm just going to go back and just touch up that spot. Ta-da! 
All right. So that part is all done. So now what I'm going to do is get my stuff organized. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, put my foundation on. Sorry, I got a hair. So I'm going to take a foundation brush. So I've got a big foundation brush here. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. So see, that is a creamy texture. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. It's not liquid. It's not going to like drip off of here. So let me move my hair back some here, guys, so I don't get it all over my bangs. So I'm just going to start here. I'm just going to tap it in. I'm just going to do short little sweepy motions here. And don't forget to go on your ears. Don't forget to blend your ears. And I will go it back in with a damp beauty blender to get that airbrushed kind of look going. But you really don't need much product. This blends, I mean, it blends out pretty good. I'm gonna start with a light layer. Okay, look at this full coverage. So, look at this cheek. Look at that, okay? So, this just totally covered over all of my um, dark spots, all the redness. Um, I know the lighting, it's looking slightly yellowy tinted from my neck, but hold on, it's all gonna come together, okay? This has got kind of a honey color to it, so. Let me go ahead and get the rest of it on, and on the rest of my face. And then I will, I'm gonna go over with a beauty blender. See, we're getting some really good full coverage. I'm gonna take a little bit up under here. This is where a lot of people forget you got.